Sir John Ives, the designer behind Apple's most iconic products, including the iPhone, the iPad, and the MacBook, is officially joining OpenAI through a $6.5 billion deal. OpenAI is acquiring IO Products, a San Francisco-based startup founded last year by Ives and the team of former Apple engineers. The company has been operating in stealth mode and already has backing from OpenAI and Lorene Powell Jobs, the widow of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. The acquisition follows a period of quiet collaboration between the two firms and gives OpenAI a direct path into the hardware space. Ives will now assume deep design and creative responsibilities at OpenAI. CEO Sam Altman said the goal is to build a new family of AI native devices, hardware that integrates artificial intelligence at the core level, not as an add-on. Altman stated that this is about reimagining what it means to use a computer. He also confirmed that IO has already developed a working prototype, though details remain under wraps. The move signals OpenAI's serious expansion into consumer hardware and positions the company as a direct competitor to Apple, particularly as critics say Apple has been slow to adopt AI at a hardware level. Since the start of 2024, Apple shares are down 19% amid concerns over lagging innovation and trade tensions. They fell another 2% following this announcement as investors evaluated the potential competitive implications of Ives returning to hardware. Ives, who left Apple in 2019 to found his own creative firm, Loveform, helped to define Apple's design ethos for nearly three decades. He has now committed to shaping what could be the next major shift in personal computing. OpenAI previously held a 23% stake in IO, and the new deal brings in around 55 engineers to the AI company. Loveform will remain independent. This marks a strategic hardware pivot for OpenAI, as it competes with Meta, Google, and Apple in a race to define what AI-first hardware will look like, from wearables to entirely new device categories. To stay up to date with the latest tech news, head to cityam.com.